Hi everyone! Today we're going to show you how to use Sigwins that you can play the amazing game Bandit! Yippee! So, right here we have Sigwin, which is a Unix-like environment for Windows. Let's say that I want to see all the files in my directory. I can type ls and hit enter and that'll show me all the contents of a directory. So a directory is essentially a special type of file which acts as a container for other files and directories. Let's say that I want to open up a specific directory. Let's say bandit video. I would type cd space the name of my directory, which is bandit video. Then I'll hit enter, and now I've entered the new directory. Um, a place to see, a way to see where you are or like what your path is, is pwd. It shows where I am. See, it says Anika and I'm in bandit video. If I want to exit bandit video, I'll do CD space dot dot and I'll jump back out. Let's say that I want to create a new directory. Let's say I want to create my new directory inside bandit video. I would first go into bandit video by doing CD bandit video. And then if I want to create a new directory called bandit video two, I would do MKDIR bandit video two and then hit enter. And then if I want to see the contents, I can say ls, and as you can see, there's this directory bandit video two. If I want to go inside bandit video two, I can do cd bandit video two. And this shows me that right now I'm in bandit video two, which is inside bandit video one. So I'm just gonna do ls to show all of my directories. Right now I'm in the directory bandit video. Um, but if I, I see this hello.txt file, but let's say I want to see what's in that file. I can use the command cat to open the file and see its contents just by doing this. And then you can see that the contents of the file say hello world. Um, but often what you will run into is that a lot of files have abnormal names, which cat is not necessarily compatible with. However, there are commands that you can add on to cat to open certain types of files. Um, if you're unsure what those are, a great place to look would be by typing help and clicking enter. The internet is also a great place to look. Um, and right now there's a lot on my screen. So if you're ever wanting to get rid of what's on your screen, you can type clear, enter, and this will delete all of it. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do ls again and open hello.txt. And then let's say for some reason I want to enter this. Um, you'll notice in Sigwin is that what you cannot do is you cannot do control C and control V to copy paste. It does this very weird thing and it doesn't work when I try to do control V. So if you're ever in a position where you want to copy paste, which Instead, you have to right click, click copy, and then down here, you're going to right click again and click paste. And then that pastes in hello world from the text file above. Although it's not command, so it will not be recognized. And then once again, if I want to get rid of this, type clear. So now I have cleared my screen. Um, I'm going to go back to my home directory. So right now I'm, I'm pretty much at my home base where you'll see all the directories if I click ls or type in ls. But let's say that because these are all very long um, directory names that I'm getting kind of tired and I don't necessarily want to type all of that. Instead, what you can do, if I have it halfway done, you can click tab and it will complete the commands. And now I'm in the directory bandit video. Um, it just has to be able to recognize which directory or command that you're doing or which file you're accessing.